Hi guys. This past weekend, I was at a show in Chicago called Aquashella that was put on by my friend George, Coralfish12G for those that are familiar with his channel, and Sean Hale from Fritz Aquatics, along with a host of event planners and artists. I could try to name them all, but literally there's dozens and I would forget somebody and they might be offended. I Trust me, there's a lot of people that had to collaborate to put a show on of this caliber. It was an unbelievable event, and I'm really proud of those guys for putting on such a great show on a first attempt. I mean, Aquashella, this is the inaugural show, and for the, for the turnout that they gathered, for how well everything came together, very impressive. Very, very impressive. I tend to not get out to a lot of shows every year. I get invited to like a million of them. I don't get out to very many. And I was really kind of on the fence. I, I wanted to go at the same time. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff here. So I was like, George, it might not work out. But then he ends up calling Rico from Rico's Aquariums. And is like, I'd like you to come. And if you could, if you could get Than to come too, that would be really, really nice. And so Rico, to his credit, he got me out of the house, he offered to drive, and off we go to Aquashella. I gotta say that I'm really glad that both of those guys kind of pushed me over the edge and got me to go because I had such a good time at this show. A lot of the reasons why I don't like to attend a lot of shows is because they kind of get repetitive after a while. You kind of see the same sort of things over. Aquashella was not like that, not even a little bit. So before I get too much into my experiences and the sights and sounds of the show, I wanted to, uh, to show some quick interviews here with the show founders and some artists that helped put this show together. All right, guys, we're here at Aquashella Chicago 2018. Uh, we've been setting up this festival for the, the last six months, and I really wanted to create something that caters to both freshwater and saltwater hobbyists. So we brought to you four different saltwater vendors, four different freshwater vendors combined with all this UV art to bring a full festival experience to you. When you get your ticket, you get a wristband, and you also get a pair of UV glasses and you will see all of the cool artwork that has been created with UV paint, glow, along with the corals. One of the inspirations for this project was the fact that the way I look at coral, I think coral is a lot like living art in itself. And so I wanted to take something that I consider living art with coral and combine it with a more traditional art. Aquashella definitely isn't your typical aquarium convention, and so you're right, a lot of people don't know what to expect when they first walk in the door, which has made it such a fun and exciting experience for us to create it. A lot of times on setup days, vendors are posting all over about you know what's going on inside the show. We actually had signs all over our set saying, hey, please don't post any social media posts of the event before Saturday morning because we don't want to spoil the surprise for all the customers and all the people coming through the show. Uh, it's definitely been amazing to see the reactions from everybody as they walk through it for the first time and um, I think that's probably been the most rewarding part of the experience so far. I'm so thankful to all of the people, our creative team here that did all of the artwork and set design, to the vendors who came in here and our troopers and set up late at night to get everything done. There has indeed been a large team of awesome people that have been working very hard for a long time on this that has made it what it is today and such a special event. Sean and I thank all of them and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you next year. So I'm Sean, I'm with Aquashella. I am one of the founders of the show. And um, yeah, George came to me with the idea last year to do something crazy, cool, and unique. And I thought it was you know, something that you know, would be very hard to put on, but uh, definitely worth the attempt. This show is starting to show what our idea is, taking aquarium festivals or aquarium shows to the next level. I hope that we can continue to do this every year um, and take your feedback, maybe things that, that you think that uh, we could do to improve it or other things that you want featured at this show. We want this to represent not only salt and fresh water, but um, some of the extremes within that, you know, like the, the Amazon room with uh, 
freshwater stingrays, as far as you know, some of the uh, aquascaping plant guys. So if there's any feedback, just let us know. We we'll hope to continue to serve you years to come. My name is Rafael Campos. I am the lead artist for Aquachella 2018. My main role for this festival was to create all the murals, five murals total. The main one that you're seeing right behind me, two in the dark room, one in the Amazon room, and the two smaller one turtles that when you come in there's a turtle mural and then one in my room for the Archie studio. I didn't know George when he put the idea out for Aquashella. Um, I didn't get in touch with him until about three weeks after he had already started promoting the show. He put out a post saying that he was looking for artists to be a part of it and before we knew it I was sending him you know more and more stuff. I ended up doing a video chat with him and Sean. After that, we, we started clicking more and more and more and it kind of got together a little bit better. Hi, my name is artist Tony Martin. So I got involved with Aquashella because Sean and George are very charismatic people and they are very passionate about bringing something new to the table. And when they told me the concept, I was just immediately obsessed. And I thought of it as a new creative project to just sweep people away with. The black light room, which was called the Aqua Crib ultimately, took about four days to assemble, but creating it in general took about four weeks. Not gonna lie, it was uh, one of the toughest installations, and I would call it an, an, art, an art installation. It's very much so set design. I just didn't realize this happened. <laughs> We're keeping all this. Are you serious? <laughs> Just for you guys. So what was really cool is a lot of my work and how I create it uh, from an emotional standpoint, but also what influences me is very fluid. I work with a liquid medium and the viscosity of it and just working with water in general, it's all very much so kind of coincides with each other. And especially when I look at corals and the colors that they have. They're extremely inspirational. If I could get the color of a coral under UV light, that would be perfect. It's close to impossible, but I strive for greatness. <laughs> so big kudos to everybody involved in the art of Aquashella. It would not be the same show without them. And there's so many other artists involved as well that I didn't get to talk to. To be perfectly honest, I ran out of both battery and time because we were only there the one day. There's a long list of contributors that you can read about on Aquashella's site. They did a great job. You know, I think it's really cool to get that perspective from the artists. At least for me, oftentimes as an aquarist, I'm kind of stuck in my own world and it's interesting to see how aquatics inspires other creatives. All right, so let's get into the sights and sounds of the show just a little bit. These shows to a large degree are what you make of them. So if you're really into shopping for new corals or new fish, that's available for you. If you're looking for educational workshops and speakers, that's available to you. Obviously the artwork. Most of my time was spent just meeting and doing the whole meet and greet, as well as catching up with friends that I haven't seen in a very long time. They even had some, some local Chicago cuisine available. So it'd be like Chicago style hot dogs, deep dish pizzas. And they even came up with their own signature cocktail called the Aquashella. I had it, it was very delicious. It's about 80% of different, uh, different types of alcohol and a little splash of pineapple juice. There was definitely a lot of opportunities to get your drink on if that's what you're into. So this girl is a total enabler right here. Yeah. She has like, she doesn't. Even, she doesn't what even work about. at that. What what, what 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 drinks are those? Oh, those reef shine. Yeah, the reef shine, the moonshine stuff. So she doesn't even work there, but she's like peddling those drinks <laughs> right in the front of that booth. They're that good. See what I mean? Anyway, to sum it up, guys, Aquashella was a blast. I really hope they continue to do this. I hope they expand on it and make it even better next year or the year after. Um, it, it's a great foundation. For those of you that had gone to the show, tell me what you think. And for those that didn't, would you consider going next year? All right, guys, that's all from here. Happy reefing.